A year or two ago, a friend of mine came to visit town. He was looking around at all the buildings and said, wow. I said, what? And he said, man, I just love brick. <laughs> after, after he said it, uh, I looked around myself and was like, yeah, you know what? I love brick too. That's, that's part of the reason I really like the architecture here. You know, these, these clay bricks and they're so um, warm and natural and it, it just kind of feels like this embrace from nature and the in the cold winters when you're stuck inside. Kind of like wood as well. Wood. You just have to love brick, you know, I, uh... It's just kind of, it's warm, it's beautiful. Look at it. Isn't it great? But, there is a terror on our streets. They're called property flippers, and they're fucking painted bricks. Why? You know, honey, I think most economists would disagree with this use of our time, but personally, I like attributing the appreciation and value of this property we bought to the time we spent this weekend painting the historic brick exterior. Certainly not the fact that Montreal's housing market has risen every year for the last decade, in part due to the unique historic architecture that we have just slopped pink paint all over. <laughs> so what's wrong with painting brick? It damages the brick, because brick is made to breathe, clay brick that is. It's supposed to absorb moisture and release it over time. When you paint the brick, you stop it from having that property. And because of the way that it absorbs moisture, it immediately starts to look shitty. You'll notice if you walk around town and you see any brick that someone's painted over, a lot of it is kind of flaking off. So long after that property flipper has gone, they're gonna be painting and repainting that stupid fucking wall. Or they're gonna have to sandblast it. Or in the end, what most people seem to do is they paint it like a red that matches the brick until I guess eventually one day they get their brick wall back. For me though, the biggest problem with painting brick is it's kind of part of this disrespectful architecture problem. Montreal is a city that has built all of its architecture in the past with limestone and clay brick. So in Montreal, brick shouldn't be black and it shouldn't be concrete gray. Brick in Montreal, my friends, should be made of clay. It's gonna haunt me. You see this everywhere, there'll be some nice building made of stone or brick and then there'll be this shitty kind of disrespectful building beside it that could just be in any town Canada. As Montreal grows we're going to need to densify, we don't want to create a kind of exclusionary city like Paris or London, but there are many examples of big buildings that have followed a principle of using a clay brick and you know it just automatically fits in better. So if you do this or this what you're building is going to age in gracefully into the neighborhood. But if you do this, it, it's just not. A lot of the time, it's just more expensive to make buildings with nice exteriors. But the thing of architecture is it isn't just buildings. These, these things are pieces of public art and it's a legacy that we're going to be passing on to the next generation. And that generation, they're just not going to want your IKEA furniture version of buildings. So if you're in the market for a place to live, Try to go for something that respects the neighborhood that it's in and doesn't hide cheapness in architectural renderings of nice rooftop pools. Because when you don't put an effort and just do stuff as cheaply as possible, this is what your condo is going to look like. So just don't fall for it. Sorry this video is so short. I'm working on a really massive project right now, so um, it's just taking way more time than I planned. i got to figure out a different workflow or something. Anyways, see you next week.